Section 8.3, Piping Interface. Let's talk in general about the interfaces that ship by default with Pi, and then we'll get into the specifics of the Pi ping interface. There are five interfaces that ship with every Pi server. Uh, two of them, well, they're simulators. I tend to think of these as great for training and great for simulations. Not terribly useful, of course, in production, and some, some people, in fact, turn them off. But the random interface is a great little interface that will generate uh, a whole variety of random data, um, just pure random data as well as normally distributed data, um, square wave data. Uh, it's a very interesting. It can even be be programmed to or configured such that uh, set points change every once in a while, for example, to simulate real data. So we've seen people put together some really sophisticated little simulations when they've been asked to kind of mock up a Pi system for a customer. Now, there's also something called the ramp soak interface, and that's used for doing the same type of mockups, the same kind of mock data, but it enables you to do batch oriented data, this event tracking type data that we shows repeated events. Now, you also get basic versions of three interfaces that are, we find very, very useful for monitoring your manufacturing control network, uh, you, in other words, your local IT resources. Let's start with the one that uh, is actually the most full featured. That's called the Pi Performance Monitor Basic Interface. You can monitor the, as Pi tags, the performance counters that come from Microsoft or that are published by Microsoft. So if you haven't seen this before, let me demonstrate. I'm going to go ahead and load the, um, this is going to be the, excuse me under administrative tools something called performance and within performance these are the performance counters that are shipped by Microsoft or I should say incorporated into uh, Windows performance uh, monitoring and I can add new counters to this this is just looking at average disk quota and percent of processor use if we take a look, there's a whole variety of things I can add, including measurements for pi. Oh, and I'm getting an error there. Yeah, here, this uh, pi archive subsystem is showing me that I can look at the archived events per second. So I can actually add that and look at that trending across the screen. Well, that's real-time data. So, you know, as we like to do with uh, with real-time data, you can bring that data into Pi so that it's uh, it becomes a Pi tag. So there's the uh, the Pi performance monitor interface and as I said it's it's very good for taking that type of Windows performance counter data bring that into Pi. We can also for 32 tags at a maximum bring in with the SNMP basic interface those um, data sources who publish their real-time data using the SNMP protocol. So this is typically things like routers or um, switches or hubs or even things like printers. Uh, you can measure the amount of toner that's left in a printer or you can report that looking at the SNMP uh, interface to that uh, to that device. And then finally we have something called Pi Ping and that's simply measuring ping rates. Uh, you can actually send a, a ping a challenge to a um, or a ping uh, to a, um, a website and then respond with the amount of milliseconds it took for that to uh, to come back so just to demonstrate if you're not familiar with ping let me just run this I'll run the command prompt and at the DOS prompt I'm going to say let's ping www.google.com and this is telling me it's taking 246 or excuse me 31 milliseconds to come back. So compare that to ping www.hat.com and that's taking around 91 milliseconds. Makes sense because this is a website in Germany so it's going across the uh, across the ocean to get back. So this is a good example of a nice little utility you can use to measure the latency within your system. Well these ping rates become the actual process data that we can record as Pi tags. 
And again, that what we're looking at here are the basic versions. Uh, you can buy a package called MCN Health Monitor in which you get the full versions where there are no restrictions. You know, for example, there is a restriction on Pi Performance Monitor Basic that it could only monitor your local performance counters in Windows. Well, if you get the full version, you can monitor uh, things outside that local machine, other computers on your network. Now, the Pi Ping interface, it can be used very useful for diagnosing network problems. Uh, by measuring latency. Just to give you an example, let me jump over to uh, this slide right here. This shows you an example of the ping rate that is getting increasingly poor as, uh, in this particular case, it was a, um, this particular server was being attacked by a code red virus. So, you know, being able to measure that and do things like set RT alerts to that or set up notifications if there is a problem, is a great, uh, you know, great advantage. So let's um, let's take a look at the configuration of tags that would be used by the Piping interface, and we're going to do this because later on we're going to create some Piping tags. First of all, the Pi point type can be any of the standard point types, you know, basically except a digital. Uh, the point source it can be set when you configure the interface by default. It's J. Now again, let me go in here and show you the Pi ping interface. If we look at, here's our ping underscore basic interface. Here's the batch file that goes with that. Yes, if you look at the slash ps switch, we're seeing here slash ps equals j. That's the default value. And so that's the value we're going to be uh, making use of for the point source. But as you could see, it could, it could be set to others if you'd like. Okay. Now, the instrument tag, when you configure a, a ping tag, is simply going to be the IP address or the node name of the machine that you're trying to ping. Location 1 is going to be the interface ID number. Again, that interface ID, uh, that is specified when you look at the slash ID switch. In this case, it would be ID equal 1. So that's what I would put in location code 1 for tags collected by this interface. Location 4 is going to be the scan class number. The ping interface can scan uh, the quickest is once a minute. So that's what we're going to be seeing is the ping rates here. And then for, um, well this is up to you of course, but I'm going to set this engineering units to milliseconds because that's actually what's being returned. And in our next video you're going to see a directed exercise I'd invite you to do to set up the ping interface.